Hey everyone, this is a quick game I got. It is a uh, solo quick match um, that happened to go against my normal uh, five-man group I play with. So it's going to be a very short game. Uh, just going to go over a few things. Um, like I said before, uh, there's no real matchmaking at this point, so games like this happen when you are um, queuing as a pre-made, you will get against a pre-made of some type, but there is no guarantee that it is a pre-made of the same size. So I assume we had a two or three man pre-made here, and roll of dice got us uh, grouped up with a full five man. It happens, and I'm sure they're going to, uh, once they get matchmaking into place, we'll uh, see how things really work, since it's uh, still not uh, implemented as of this uh, recording. And I, this is what I usually do in Bullet Gorge. I tend to go for that first uh, Gremlin, and then I uh, pretty much go for bots. Um, something you need to learn, learn about right here. Uh, he overextended like crazy, so I'm going to the kill. Uh, be careful with the ejector, because, yeah, easy first blood there to pick up. I'm going to taunt because, and only because it's uh, someone I know. And. You do get uh, cash for taunting after a kill if you complete the entire taunt. And it gets a 5 man pre made, you do need uh, all the help you can get. But like I said before, if they don't have a uh, jungler up here, I will pretty much camp up here and kill bots. A uh, big mistake players do, especially as a uh, sharpshooter in commando, is they they sort of get a little uh, fixated on, on killing players and uh, forget about bots. And right here, um, try to save my team. They went up by using Party Pooper, but I uh, stayed stayed there way too long, and I paid the price for it. But yeah, I said in my other video earlier about killing bots, but uh, it's a habit. I'm not gonna repeat it a lot because um, a lot of players forget. I forget. Um, make sure you are killing bots, and don't try to harass players. Sometimes a lot of players will try to they'll, and I'm guilty of it too. They'll they'll try to pick at players, but. That actually doesn't really do a whole lot for you. When you are attacking players in the early game and not really tending to kill them at all or try to discourage them from attacking your teammates, you're basically just giving them juice. They will heal up the little damage you dealt and they'll have a bit more juice to show for it uh, once it's all said and done. So, like right here, tossing random points and like that doesn't really do anything for me. If you are um, thinking instead of a kill, yeah, go ahead and do it. Um, wouldn't recommend the last guy at all because. Uh, it's kind of hard to aim with Waz, got uh, coins, not really reliable. But um, Spark and Assassin, they can uh, do a fair amount of damage with their, uh, their ranged weapons if you um, if a person lets you uh, shoot at them. Which can allow you to set up some kills, so uh, consider it, but be careful. Once again, here they're, they're extended, but the ejector's down. Um, putting out some bacon to see if they'll, uh, if they'll get them, but it will not. At this point, we have a lever, so. Um, uh, five man pre-made with I guess a four man, um, not not really uh, something you can really do a whole lot about at this point. I'm not really playing the game that's that seriously anymore. I'm doing a lot of high, stupid high risk stuff that uh, isn't really going to work. And because at this point, either you either try really stupid risky things or you uh, you pretty much lose. Because at this point, we need a. Uh, you really can't play uh, conservatively because if you do, you're just gonna they're just gonna overpower you because they had the extra man to put uh, they have the extra man to uh, either stay back in uh, guardians pushes or or whatever. You really can't outlevel them. And here I'm gonna take them behind. Another problem being in a four man versus against five people is that uh, they have an extra person to harass uh, junglers so. They can afford to do things like that, so it's uh, pretty hard. I've been playing a lot more Wascot lately. Um, I have stopped playing Megabeth. Uh, I was playing her a lot the week she came out because I really liked her, but I feel they over nerfed her. Um, I mean, a lot of things I agreed with. It, uh, it's sort of like uh, you have individual things that are uh, problematic with her, such as the easy knockback. Um, mobility and such, but they nerfed every... it was sort of the deal where nerfing one or two of those wouldn't have been a problem, but they seemed to nerf almost every aspect about her that was that people had a problem with. 
which seems like an overreaction. I guess if you look at it from a beta perspective, it's just uh, uh, trying things out one way or the other. It's not that she's uh, entirely uh, entirely weak. It's just because uh, I've seen players do well with her. It's just I don't know. She has no knockback at all whatsoever now, so she lacks. She now has a. Uh, she now has worse knockback to um, even the other other strikers. Now she has none. She can't really uh, do any sort of range uh, harassment at the annihilator. And there I hit v, uh, hit my uh, I got V on a uh, juice. And I hit it by accident for some reason. Probably should rebind that, but it's the first time I've ever hit it by accident. But it's not a huge deal at this point. The game is uh, pretty much decided. But yeah, yeah, Megabeth. Um, I feel like they overdid it a little bit. Um, there have been some uh, suggestions to get back her knockback because she has that similar functionality. Yeah, right now I'm just uh, sort of dinking around. But yeah, um, I, yeah, I did play a game with Mega Beth and she did still win, so she's still viable. I just think that um, I, I don't know. I played her a lot during the uh, week we uh, they had her, and I didn't feel that she was. Um, I didn't feel like she was as overpowered as people I said, said she was. They did fix her, they did finally fix the discus. And. Uh, not discus, but her, um. The, the uh, twirl, when she spins around, they fixed that, so it's now the, uh. The same duration at, um. Level 4 as the other ranks, so. Um. That's noticeably better now. I'm still not sure if it's a, uh. I don't have enough money for. We just really sad. And other things, I'm um, really happy with the prize system. I've gotten quite a few uh, nice uh, endorsements from it. Um, I got a product from it. I know taunts yet. I've heard those are pretty rare. Honestly, I'd rather not even get taunts. I'd rather have uh, endorsements. Particularly rank uh, threes. Got a rank four. No bacon chip. I did get a rank four the other day. Um, apparently, you can get duplicate uh, products. You can get. Um, you can also get the uh, rank one sprint. Uh, our move speed. That was a really weird move I just did. Um, I mean, you can use it like that, but he did not notice me, so that was good. Like I said, doing kind of stupid stuff in the hopes of. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm doing there. Um, at this point, it's really. Uh, this one's way my health regen so I can um, ensure I don't die to bots or something when I roll out of there. Just sort of. Uh, just chilling. Wasn't on vent at the time. I wanted to get on vent and talk to them, but yeah, that's kind of silly. But yeah, prices are working out pretty well. They said they were going to uh, probably. Their, there's a uh, one of the worst uh, hooks I've ever done. Not a good game. I played pretty bad all morning when I played this game. We did manage to take down one turret, so I guess uh, did all right. I guess. At this point, they're more or less toying with us. I feel, but yeah. Other changes: uh, Spunky is off for a rotation now. It is not available. Uh, as, a, as I said in another video, there's a lot of problems with it right now, resorting to bots and um, I mean, by AI in general is pretty bad. Even even on the maps at work, like you saw that bouncer just sort of sitting there looking at me, right there. Let's go for that uh, ejector, but I got caught. But yeah, the bouncer was just sitting there, just uh, not not going for anybody. Uh, I've seen um, I've seen Jackbots get stuck on Locomoco. I've seen um, uh, Jungle Bots are just an absolute wreck in terms of AI. They will, their how they uh, decide to attack pros is just completely, almost completely arbitrary. But yeah, and just getting messed around with here in the jungle. Yeah, Churro, gotta take that up. And yeah, there's not a lot to say here. The game's pretty much over. There goes our money ball. But yeah, the whole I really like this patch. It's been a um I've not been able to get any of the new uh any of the new products. I don't feel was it a bot buster? I don't feel that they're super must have products there. Um some are good. I would like to have can't stun this for uh, certain matches, but I, I just don't feel like they are Something where I really want to spend 6,750 combat coins right away. Gallium. Gallium now. 
At this point, I'm trying a last ditch effort to uh, get the uh, Annihilator. Though, spoiler, I don't have even nearly enough money to actually do that. So, I think we lose any. I think we actually lose before he even goes up. Yep, and that is it. Just a quick sort of steamroll game. It happens to everybody. Um, it, my advice, don't quick match unless you are prepared to have this happen to you. Otherwise, use build team. And I will um, let you see the uh, post-game uh, results, and I will see you all next time. Well, that's it for us, folks. Thank you for joining us. And we'd like to remind you that unless you're watching this from home, you have 15 minutes to get back to your assigned dwelling before government-mandated...